Hi, I'm Scott Hagert, and no, I'm not a New Jersey Devil, but I am a Devils fan. I'm a hockey fan, and like many others, I have been deeply moved by this campaign. I have been inspired, I have been encouraged, and I have been absolutely blown away by the entire movement. And so I'd like to start this off by thanking everyone. I'd like to thank the Burke family, Patrick, Brian, and the late Brendan. I'd like to thank all the organizers that are behind the website, the videos. I'd like to thank everybody affiliated with the NHL that has helped bring this together. I'd like to thank everybody that has shared the message, everybody that's donated, everybody that will continue to show their support for this campaign. And I'd especially like to thank the players. And yes, that does mean you too, Henrik Lundqvist. Saying thank you doesn't feel like enough. I feel like I have to explain why. Why this campaign matters. Why it's going to make a difference. And so I'd like to take you back to when I was in grade 7. I was about 13. And I was just starting to figure out what the feelings I've been having were. That's when the label came into my mind. That's when I realized that I was gay. I had every reason to expect that my family was going to love and support me. But I couldn't say the same about my friends, my classmates, my teammates. I was scared. I was scared that if they found out that I wouldn't be able to face criticism. I was scared that I'd be forced off my hockey team, off my football team, my basketball team. I was terrified that I wouldn't be able to face bullying at school and that I'd just stay home. That I'll be huddled up and shut off from the outside. I was scared that this would ruin me. And so, I tried to tell myself that it wasn't true. That I was wrong. That I could change. I started to punish myself for thoughts and feelings that I couldn't control. I hated that part of me. I hated the fact that I was gay. I despised it. I was scared of it. I was terrified. And it led me to some very, very dark days. I was mentally abusing myself constantly. And with that, started to come thoughts of suicide. I'm very thankful that I never did hurt myself. I never did try. But the thoughts were there. I'd like to be able to sit here and say that my experience isn't common. That gay kids going through what I went through doesn't happen very often. But it seems more and more that the way things are right now, it's just a fact of life. It's what goes on. Gay kids always tend to face one or more of three really bad stages. The self-loathing, the loneliness, and bullying. For me, when I was 13 and thinking about killing myself, this campaign would have made a world of difference. I love hockey. I always have and I always will. Family comes first, but hockey is something very special to me. I live and I breathe it. I'm constantly checking stats, watching the standings, watching as many games as I can. For me to have been able to sit in front of a television or on a computer go online and watch as my heroes looked into a camera and said that it's okay, that it's fine, that they treat me the way they treat anyone else. I don't know if 
I would have ever thought about suicide. I can honestly say that I would have had a much easier time accepting myself. As it is, I think my family accepted that part of me long before I did. They're a big reason why I'm still here. This campaign is going to be a big reason why lives are changed, why lives are saved. And it's not just going to be gay athletes like myself that are affected, but it's going to be all gay kids. Gay, bi, trans. This campaign is going to create a dialogue of support, of acceptance. Because at the end of the day, this campaign is not politics. This campaign is not religion. This campaign is nothing to do with anyone's personal creed. This campaign is about creating an environment where kids don't have to be afraid. Where athletes and, and teenagers and kids of all shapes and sizes don't have to think that killing themselves is better than being who they are. At the end of the day, this message holds true far beyond the locker room. If you can play, you can play. And go Devils go.